Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to episode six, season uh, two. It might say it might say episode seven, like in the podcast, like main screen. If that makes sense, I I, I don't know. If my voice sounds a bit different. Um, I've been using this voice changer. I just set my voice to normal, but I up the bass of the sounds. So everything might sound like it has more bass, you know, bass, bass, whatever, however you guys say it. So I got a really compact added design, and it's right over here. If you remember this design, I just want to go over this really quickly before we get into binary addition and subtraction, uh, ad no, multiplication and division. We've done addition and subtraction. I think you guys understand. If you don't, just look, watch it, watch the video about a hundred times over again, or look it up. It's not that hard to understand. It's very similar to like decimal. So if ever so every one input that's on is that one on. This is like AND gates, not gates, XOR. Every two inputs is that one. Oh wait, no, I didn't do this example. Two that one and but all three are both. This is the same. But in a more compact way, and it only has two XOR gates. So this one equals that. So each one is that. Each two is that one. And both. Oh, wait. Those two is that one, and uh, both, or three, equal those. So we basically have these two inputs going into one XOR gate. Um, just copy this as I, this is a pretty simple design. So this XOR the gate is this. Just like a sim more simple way. Um, you have this, just all inputs, this is how all inputs are laid out. So, and these two inputs going into an XOR gate. So you have two, first two going into an XOR gate. This one going into the input of second XOR gate. So it would be like this. So you have a, um. So this is an XOR gate. This is kind of a weird way of showing it, but um, we'll go through binary multiplication and division after I ex explain this. Um, so let's say this is a X, X, uh, XOR gate. It's like the curve and then the, the gap. Um, and then this. And then this is, and then this is another one. So it's like this. That, that's basically what's going on here. So you just have an XOR. Two inputs going into one XOR gate that goes into the next, and then this one just goes straight into the next, and then you have an output. And that output is this one going into here, so that's the car uh, sum. So that line is the sum, that's the carry. So this is the sum right here. Sum. Then the carry, which will be right next to it, this one, we do. Um, By getting the power from these three torches by taking it through this line, which also connects to the power of these three torches on the second one, so they're both connected. Then this leads to this part. So it would be like them two being connected to each other, and then that being. So we have two inputs going into one XOR gate. Now we input going to the next one, which is the output of the one. I'm oh, sorry, the output of this one with the two inputs here go into the next one. So you have an XOR, an XOR gate, an XOR gate. Two inputs going into one. Now we input going into the other. The output of the first one going into the input of the second one. So, that, so it's like a thing, whatever. And then you copy this design. 
don't know how to do it with you know the normal gun, unless it's these three or something or these three maybe. I think they are. I think I think it's these three. I don't know. I don't know how to use that design with the with the adder. Um, just follow. Uh, this. Just follow these, this design, that design right there, um, <clears throat> and take the up from these connected up to this one. Have them both lead to this spot, and it works. And then stack that up, and you'll get an ALU, making a subtract. And when we go over ALUs in the series, I'll explain that, and I'll build it. Alright, so next, let's go, let's go into addition and subtraction. I asked AI, because AI is very useful. And it helps a lot, and I like it, and it's nice, and I like it, and it's nice. Um, so I'm going to switch to that. Um, it's not coming up. I've got to. Let's just go over some addition. Uh, no, not addition. What are you saying? Addition and subtraction. Um, here we are on the whiteboard to go through some, some stuffies, some stuffy wuffies. Yeah, all of these are the horrors. This one for multiplication and division is still good. I'll leave a link in the description. I like it. Very, very explanatory. They explain, they explain it. And if you want me to go through data, go in data. <laughs> um. So, uh, what's going on with it? So, I've learned about binary multiplication. I understand. Um, it's similar to decimal multiplication. So let's say we have like, why does it look like that? What color am I using? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's so pixelated. Let's just do it like this. So we have one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero times. Um, uh, um, times one, one, oops, one, one, zero. So, so the first thing, so we just go like this, boom, 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 and then we do second digit, boom, 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 third digit, boom, 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 I did it wrong in a previous video, that's why I deleted previous Episode, if you didn't notice, it's gone, and now we've replaced it with this video. So, um, sorry, uh, it's eight minutes, three minutes, seconds, okay. Um, zero times zero is zero, zero ones is uh, zero, zero zeros is zero. If it's, if it's a zero, just put everybody to. Zero, zero is zero, zero, one is zero, the very trashy zeros. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, the last blah, zero. <coughs> um, and we add a zero. So one, we move on to the next bit over. So one, zero, one times zero is zero, I think. One ones is one, finally a one. One zero is not getting So zero again, again, and then one and one, okay. Now, of course, I checked this with a goddamn calculator from right. I'm probably wrong on me. Probably look at a video and forget about it. <coughs> now we have to add two more bits because I'm a third. 
Oh, is your resume not fit? So we added, we added no, no zeros here. We added one zero here, two zeros here, and so on and so forth, depending on how many bits we have down here. One times zero, zero, one ones, no, one zero is zero, and one zero again. One zero again is zero. Wait a second. This one down here is what? Can move that over one. There we go. What are we up to? And I kind of forgot. Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm just going to get some water, guys. I'll be right back. My throat is hurting. If you don't want me to get water, then I'll be coughing for the rest of the video. So let me just, I'll be real quick. Okay, guys? I'll be quick. Don't worry. <coughs> Alright, sorry for the long break. Um, sorry for the long break. Um, uh, what are we up to? Uh, one, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, kind of lost where we're up to. Got. Ah. Uh. <sighs> two zero 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 zero. So this column, I guess. And all this is this one. This one right here is this one, I think. No, no, this one right here. This one right here. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had two bits and then one zero is a zero. One ones is one over here. One zero, one zero is zero. One ones and then. One. Um. One one. They don't these. These are just I don't know markers. Um. And I'm not the neatest person ever, but those are not the messiest. We restart the zero. You guys can understand it. Uh, oh God, Z a zero. What was that? A zero. Good. I need to drink my water. My throat is hurting.
Hi, I'm back. Um, so, let's go through. Um, look at the AI after I've done this. So then we have, we done that bit, that bit. Did the last bit. One times zero. Well, first of all, we need to add three zeros. Because it's the third bit. Well, the fourth bit, but we add three zeros. Um, that makes sense. I don't have a count here. Whatever. Three, three zeros. Um, one zero zero. But no, one. One go. One goes into zero zero times. One goes into one once. Sorry, 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 sorry. One goes into zero. So one goes into zero zero um zero times zero times. One goes into one twice and uh, just do two ones. So it's the same thing if if all of them are one, it's the same as these. It's the same number of the it's the same like of this number of how it's the same of the top number. Down here, how many, however many times there are ones in this bottom number. So, in the, if you watched it, the now deleted, the now deleted video, it was similar to this. Basically, now we've done all the beats one, two, one, two, three, four, or zero, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You can add. Add all these together. So zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one plus zero plus zero is one. Zero plus zero plus one plus zero is one. Zero plus zero plus zero plus one is one. Zero plus one plus zero zero is one. One plus one plus zero is two. Zero. Carry the one. It is two, but it's a zero, so, and then carry it on. One plus one plus one, and carry on. One. one is zero. Carry a one. So we can't carry it anywhere here, so we have to bring it down here. So if I go over to a... Ah. Uh, a... One-hour calculator. And all I do... Uh, one one zero zero one zero. One 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 zero. Calculate. One zero one zero one 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 zero zero. One zero one zero one 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 zero zero. Good. That's correct. Fifty times fourteen. Seven hundred. This is apparently seven hundred in binary. You say, guys, know. And this is 50, and this is 14. This is 14 binary. So you guys, we might understand. Um, let's just go into the AI now. I know you guys have been waiting for this. There are two simple examples of binary. I mean, blah, 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 blah. Multiplication and division. Have a go. One implication. Multiply two binary numbers. 101, decimal 5. 101, uh, 1101. One, is decimal six, so these are like numbers in decimal, but these binary numbers converted in decimal here and here. Um, so one zero one times one one zero. One zero one zero decimal ten. We will form a series of partial. Wait, this was a <coughs> in binary multiplication. We, if you want to pause it and read, you can. In binary multiplication, we'll form a series of partial products and then add them together. Each digit of the second number, each digit of the second number multiplier, 
is multiplied with each digit of the first number multiplied using the same rules as decimal multiplication. Finally, we had the partial products to get the binary product. Let's divide a binary number of division. We just went over it, so. Oh, uh, for this we do zero times one, zero, zero times zero is zero, zero times one is zero. We move it to the next bit, which is here, one, one times one is one, uh, one times zero is zero, one, oh, oops, this one, the one in the middle here, times, uh, this, uh, this one is one, so it's one zero, it's zero for the, t zero 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 for the top row, one zero one for the next row, one zero one again for the next row, and you just add one zero one plus one zero one, and you get your answer. Yet again, you can find a very simple explanation of this on the internet. I guess you just want a short video of, like, explaining it, but I don't do short videos. I do mainly Minecraft. I'm not good, like, online with short videos. The division, binary number, on one zero one zero decimal 26 for another binary number, 11, or no, one one, decimal 3. So the hundred is a quotient. I think that's what it says. Means. I don't think that's in code. It's like a coding language. SCSS. I don't know what that means. <coughs> in binary division, blah, 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 blah. in binary division, we perform long division just like in decimal division. We divide the leftmost digits of the dividend. By the divisor, determine the quotient, subtract the product from the dividend, and bring the bring down the next digit. We repeat this process until we have no more digits to bring down until we reach the desired level of precision. The final quotient represents the result of binary division, and the remainder may also be if needed. If the blah. And retained if needed. These examples demonstrate the basic principles of binary multiplication and division, which involve similar concepts and as their decimal counterparts, but operate on binary digits, zeros and ones instead. I honestly just stayed during reading that. I didn't understand it. Don't judge me. I'm telling you, don't judge me. I'll come to your house if you judge me. Um, not a threat or anything. Uh, I still find division the binary confusing. It's been kind of difficult to understand. It looks something like this. Uh, credits to this guy. If I can get permission from you, thanks, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, you guys should understand the basics of it. If you guys read all this, all this, you can pause it now. Read it, understand it, pause it now to read it, understand it. Um, that's about it for this video. I don't want to make too, waste too much time, so that's why I don't talk about the whole topic in one video. I think you guys understand. One compliment is basically just inverting all the bits, and I don't have enough time to record a bunch of stuff about all this stuff. That's the reason, and don't blame me for it. That's just the reason. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video, uh, the next season, season three, where we go over, got to check the goddamn thing, the, the, this, we have five and six, I don't know, program is in, programming in binary, I put into a display three and four, revision on all and extra, it's about interface and outerface, so, yeah, it's about displays, so, Let's look up some things I can explain in episode one and two. So that's it for this video. Subscribe, like, and the bell. See you in the next season. Hope you guys enjoy these seasons and these series and all this. Um. Also, make sure you guys uh, vote down here because I really want to see the results. Except the base will be coming out next on Mod DB. But I am taking a break from Mod and Helen Neighbor because I like Minecraft.
uh, in computer logic, this, no, 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 I didn't mean to open that. I accidentally opened goddamn FL Studio to my, away, wasting time, I need to stop recording. Away, thank you. Away. Okay, you guys probably can't see that, but there's a lot of things opening up. Anyway, see you guys later in the next season, bro.